Telephone conversation between President Johnson and Congressman Carl Albert on November 29, 1963, at 6.37 p.m. Congressman Carl Albert. We think tonight, uh, after talking to the Justice Department and the Secretary of State, we think we ought to have the highest level commission we can have to study the uh, the reports relating to the assassination of the president right. and the FBI will be in and we don't want anything going in the House Senate and this bunch of television cameras a lot of loose testimony around Eastland's committee and otherwise then and, and, uh, we've got it all under control Khrushchev, Khrushchev's uh, done this or Castro's done this or something else because right. it could be very dangerous I'm going to try to get this Chief Justice to serve as chairman of it. Yes. Senator Russell, Senator Cooper, Congressman Boggs, he's been talking a good deal about it, and uh, uh, Representative Ford, and Alan Dulles, Public, and John McCloy. Now that's who I'm thinking of. Have you got any suggestions or any better ones? No, those are fine. Uh, they may be a good many Republicans, but I think that this ought to be a partisan thing, and I think nobody that looks upon McCloy or Chief Justice either is a Republican. Uh, Ford, I uh, guess, is, is he a pretty vicious Republican? Well, he, he's fairly level-headed. You mm -hmm. know, and he's, he's pretty, ju on his side. pretty judicious. Well, yes, he is. Is he a lawyer? I don't know whether he's a lawyer or not. I assume he is, but I've never, never checked it. Never the case, no. I assume the he reason is. I suggested Hale is because he'd been talking about it and relating to it. Now, if it didn't take your time and it wouldn't work you to death, I'd be glad to put no, you on. I don't. I, I really don't want it. I wouldn't. I don't think you ought to ask the speaker to go on it. And I thought that. Uh, you, you, I'd rather have you and anybody in the House of Representatives, and I talked to them about that, but then I don't know how you're going to mess around this thing and be a leader in that. No, I agree with you. And, uh, I think Hale is a good man for it. He's, he's been interested in having it done. I think it should be done. Uh, since we're not going to have a jury verdict on that man's dad, it's important that, uh, that some commission say something about it, I think. You know. Since Oswald was killed before he was tried, I think it's very important that you, you have somebody, and I think you better take it away from from the headline hunters out on the hill. And I think you have to out on the hill. And I think you have to fight this. I'm all for it. I'm going to talk to your committee. I'm going to speak to them right there. But this first, if you get to this, there shouldn't be anybody. I'm drafting an executive order, and I don't need to, but I, I, I believe it's better to do it than not to do it. I do, too, and I think you ought to do it before uh, everybody starts moving in. Now, I had a letter from Danny Fussell, and the speaker and I talked it over. He thought his committee had a, had jurisdiction. Other committees thought they had jurisdiction, and they were all going to start uh, putting in resolutions. And of course, a few have put them in. We've buried them in the Rules Committee. I think this will shut it up. I think that's what you should do. And you'll, you'll protect my flank on it. Yes, sir. And I want to tell you one other thing. I'll never bother you, but whenever you need me, I'm there. I know that. I know that. And that's what, that's what makes it possible to do this job. Did you, uh, I thought you all treated me very good the other day, and now you quite me generous. Listen, it was terrific. I have, I have not heard one word, not word one. About 100 to 1 with the wires. That wasn't uh, 
Well, I got seven. I got one from Knoxville, Tennessee, and one from two or three from Mississippi criticized me, and one from Pennsylvania, and six from the South, and uh, just uh, they were criticized the civil rights part of it. But the rest, one it, word about a hundred to one. And I've heard some Southerners uh, right down in the in the middle of the South say that uh, was the only thing you could do. Uh, many people have ranked it as one of the great speeches that's been delivered on the Hill this century. I get you right. I mean it. It was. Take it from me. I I, I think I have touched as many bases as anybody, and I and I know on the House side. I I know that uh, the only person, that one or two people from Mississippi, had to say that I wish he hadn't have dealt with civil rights, but privately they. <laughs> Yeah. That's incidentally, they want me to help them get the postmasters back. I wish you'd talk to me about that and see what we ought to do about it. Sure, maybe we can work it out. Talk to them. I don't know whether we ought to or not, but, that's, but you think about it and I'll be talking to you. Well, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a,